Hello everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this crown braid that Princess Leia wore in The Empire Strikes Back. So if you want to learn how to do it, keep on watching and I will show you how. First, we're gonna section off a chunk of hair right above your ear. We're gonna section it off into three even parts. We're gonna be doing a Dutch braid to give it that 3D raised effect. So to start it off, we're gonna grab the section of hair on the right and cross it under the middle piece and pull tight. Then get the section of hair on the left and cross that piece under the middle and pull tight. All right, you started off the braid, so now we're gonna start bringing in the loose pieces of hair. Start off by getting a loose section of hair on the right, as close to the right side as possible, join it together with the right side of hair, and then we're gonna put that under the middle. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the left side. Grab some loose hair here on the left, join it with the left section, and then we're gonna cross that under the middle and pull tight. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing throughout this whole braid. Just sections from the left, joining it with the left, crossing it under, pulling tight, and then sections from the right, joining it with the right, crossing it under, and pulling tight. We're just gonna repeat those steps over and over, working your way up the right side and then around the top and then down to the left side of your head and then down the bottom, pretty much meeting up there where you started the braid. Make sure to pull tight after each section that you do because we wanna make sure that the braid stays nice and tight and doesn't get loose and fall out throughout the day. The one difference between this braid and a French braid is that instead of going over like in the French braid, you're going under. And going under is what gives it that raised effect. Make sure that whenever you're doing this braid, you're pulling in the direction that you want the crown to go. Up and around. Since we're going around the head in different directions, things can get kind of awkward. So uh, don't be afraid to reorient your hands and stuff. I had to at about the halfway point to make things more comfortable. Now since my hair is curly, whenever I do braids and kind of pull the curls apart, it turns really frizzy. Also, please excuse all these little flyaways all over the place. Um, my hair is still growing back from whenever I had my son. A lot of it fell off, but it's still growing back, so I, I have no control over these little pieces that are sticking up everywhere. At least more hair is coming back, yay. Once you reach the back of the head, you'll eventually run out of pieces of loose hair. This should be pretty close to where the start of the braid is. You're just gonna get those three sections of hair that you're left with and braid them as you would a normal old braid. So then tie off the end with a hair tie. Now we're gonna get the loose braid and we're gonna wrap it around our head. We want it to look like a flawless crown going around. So make sure you pin it as close as possible to the start of the braid there. And then we're going to secure it around the inside of the braid, pin it nice and snug. Now we're gonna get this end here and we're gonna hide it under the initial braid so you don't see that loose end. Smooth down the frizz here a bit. And that is it, you are done. You have succeeded. Now, remember to channel your inner Leia and be the fierce leader you were meant to be. Just remember guys, stay far, far away from space slugs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please thumbs up, please subscribe if you have not already, and may the force be with you.